What's up guys? Life of Corn here. Back to another motor vlog. Today we're gonna talk about when I broke my neck riding a motorcycle on my R6. Now, I got a lot of these stories. I've been doing this for like 10. When this happened, I was training myself to ride to Los Angeles. Now, to do that, my goal was to ride to Kettleman City. Kettleman City is the halfway point between LA and SF. I'm back. If I could do Kettleman City, then I could do uh, Los Angeles. So if you guys have seen the Need for Speed movie, when he flips the car and everything, that happened right here at this hotel. a tank slapper and I don't remember the exact moment that I caught it I just remember driving and then I remember being in a tank slapper the slapper was so violent that it ripped the bars from my hands and I broke the tank slapper to the shoulder along the side and I remember flying through the air when I hit the when I hit the shoulder like Superman and saying if I hit one of those posts I'll die and if I hit the barbed wire fence that's gonna suck and when I flew over the bars I caught my I caught my right hand behind the brake lever so it gave me a spin like a football when I flew I wake up on the side of the freeway and my bike is in flames and black smoke is going up like 50 feet that was so sweet <laughs> helicopter pulled up I remember when I saw the helicopter coming, I, uh, to be honest, I said, I'm gonna go to sleep. I can't do it anymore. Oh, I see a biker up here. I see two bikes up here. Anyway, so I wake up in the hospital and my girlfriend's the first one that shows up. Then, uh, my mom, and friends I hadn't seen in a long time. I think my girl, so my girlfriend, she had reached out to a lot of them. Nice M3, bro, very nice. Where'd those boys go? I guess I was too, I was too scary for them. I'm a little reckless, I ain't gonna lie. Um, I'm there for two days. They take me to surgery twice. And both times they, they take me to surgery, they send me back to uh, my room with no explanation. And then they discharge me after two times. Luckily, my mom is a uh, ER nurse. She's been an ICU nurse, a burn unit nurse. She's done all the nitty gritty stuff. She goes, there's something fishy about them just discharging you after everything. And she takes me to UCSF ER, explains all this, and then they take x-rays. Turns out I'm so unstable if I had hugged a friend too hard, I could have paralyzed myself. My C5 through 7 were broken in multiple places and floating, and my spine had an S-curve going on in it. So, this we found this out at 3 p.m. on like a Thursday. And by Friday, I was in on the operating table by 8 a.m. It was that serious. So they first go in from the back and they put a plate on the back of my spine with like eight, like four screws. And then they do a surgery from the front. And the doctor was like, yeah, we're just gonna scoot your esophagus over real quick after cutting your throat open. And We're gonna uh, just access your spine and fuse this cadaver bone to it to make it stronger. No big deal, you'll be up and eating breakfast by 11 a.m. I was like, no way, man. So, now it's been about a week and a half since the accident. My neck is finally secured and we can address my hand. My hand got broken when it got stuck behind the brake lever and uh, snapped three of my metacarpals. And they started to heal. 
so they had to re-break them just to line them up correctly with the um, with like titanium plates which sucked for me because it made the healing process longer and more painful but i just want to like thank all my friends that showed up because it was like a party man like there were people drinking my friend had one of the, had a crush on one of my nurses so he was leaving love notes on on the board for her and like she was writing back it was what was her name meg or something I don't, I don't know but yeah brian and raul and ricardo and tiffany and char and everybody man y'all y'all made it okay even though it was a really dark and scary bad time it sucked for me um even like he even had his kid there like man it was it was crazy oh uh, so yeah, if you have a friend that goes down and they're in the hospital, visit them. It means the world to them. Because they're in that room for eight hour, for 24 hours a day. You're there for an hour with them. That one hour that you're there is a huge escape for them. Now I'm going to physical therapy for my neck. And I think three months goes by before I'm ready to buy a bike because I got my insurance check and my mom took my insurance check from me because I was talking about buying a truck and being safe and she was like no I know you once you get healed up you're gonna want another bike I'm gonna hold this for you and give it back to you when you're ready sure enough here I am doing this now for like years but um so I cut my oh there's 892 335 just like my old one damn be one to buy too it's owned by an old guy yeah so i take my i finally get to a point where i cut my cast off take my insurance check because i couldn't wait anymore dude i take my insurance check to the uh motorcycle shop and i buy an r6 uh, it was a black one with a red key tag and it had all kinds of red carbon fiber and bits on it and I took it and I rode it down to LA. And I think there's a, and I met like this cat when I was down in Venice Beach on that trip that still follows me to this day on social media. Team Killem 24, I think his name is. Really cool brother, him and his lady. Shout out to both of you. You all are living life and looking like you're having a blast just like me and T. Shout outs to y'all. Right here, every last Friday of the month, they do a, a FNR, Friday Night Ride. So at the end of this month in like two more weeks, I'll do another vlog down here, linking up with the crew and doing a ride through the city with, uh, we'll be like a hundred deep, but it'll be pretty fun. But I always, nice Rolls Royce, man. What is in there? But I always consider myself like a walk-in contradiction because it didn't happen while I was riding reckless or speeding. And I do a lot of that or did a lot of that. And should you start on a 600? No, someone like me, I shouldn't have started on the 600. Get off those rollerblades, fool. Don't tell me to wheelie. Who's those spandex? Um, I mean, I come from BMX and downhill biking, and I've always been an adrenaline junkie and a risk taker, and if I fall down, it doesn't really scare me to do it again or have it happen again. So I'm naturally going to be more of a risk taker and adrenaline junkie on a bike. I remember my mom drove me to the dealership and followed me home and she was like are you gonna speed i was like no and they proceeded to do 135 miles an hour down the on-ramp there's another gray 92 like my old one man i'm seeing a lot of them um but like if you're someone who's intimidated by the bike and it makes you nervous then you probably shouldn't uh get on uh a 600 you start on a 300 like i'm teaching my home girl right now how to ride and she probably shouldn't start on a 600 i could tell by how timid she is and the reason i say that is because if things were to go south it's better to have a more forgiving bike like a 300 than on a 600 even though she might be tall enough to handle a 600 just fine nice g80 stormtrooper someone like me though i should have started on a 300 just because of how i mean it is what it is. I would have still ended up riding recklessly regardless. But it definitely slowed me down. Do I think it happened for a reason? Kinda. 
at that time i was riding at 150 130 miles an hour to and from work everywhere every day recklessly and i think that it was like a wake-up call for me that hey man that kind of riding is not sustainable forever what you see on the movies and stuff But I'm still here, I'm still kicking. I mean, I'm a living testament to just because you go down on a motorcycle doesn't mean it has to be the end of it. I crushed my hand and broke my neck and I'm still here. I'm still lifting weights, I'm still living life. I didn't let it define me, it sucked. For a little minute, I was like wounded like him, but <laughs> not anymore. I think now we're sitting at 456 six, or 66 subscribers. I uploaded that 400 subscriber video last week and then the police story and shot up by like 80 subs. shower time so ride, driving around riding out here is like a war zone in the city and it's a Friday bro everybody just wants to <laughs> but I grew up in the city riding BMX bikes man so I kind of like it like me and Alberto we love riding in the city during rush hour it reminds us of dipping and dodging traffic on bikes with no brakes and you used to be able to catch air off these hills Watch this. Uh, this one right here will send you. Woo. You gotta make it down all this. This is like Star Wars. Through the, going through the Death Star and the X-Wing. That's what it always reminds me of. But uh, yeah, that's the background on how I broke my neck. And I'm still doing it. I'm still kicking.